Well, hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and today, well, for one, I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm filming in my front room. Let me know what you think about it, because I kind of wanted just to switch up where I normally sit for my videos, but it's kind of echoey in here, and the light is on that side of the room, so just let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I do want to switch it up a little bit, and this is where I wanted to sit so you could see my plant shelf a little bit, but this video is going to be plants I can't shut up about, and I had this idea because one of you guys actually left me a comment saying um, that it would be really interesting to revisit my first video, and my first video was plants I'm currently crazy about or something like that, and I do want to revisit that because I think it'd be really interesting to see if I even have any of those plants anymore, uh, but this video is going to be like current plants I have that I can't shut up about. Every single day I check on these ones and I'm always pointing it out to my boyfriend going, don't you love this one? Um, and I have them all here. I think there's five, so let me just show them to you. Out of all of these, this is probably the one that I can't, I can't shut up about every single day. I don't know what it's called. We, me and my boyfriend have just started calling it the ravioli plant because it has these little leaves that are crimped at the edges so it does look a little like a ravioli. This one is very, very thirsty, and I know that because these little pads are really soft. They should be really firm and plump, and this one I do let stay dry until it tells me that it needs water, um, and so far that care has been working really well for it. So the reason I can't shut up about it, for one, look how cool it is. These little like ravioli, like crimped edges, I think they're so beautiful. This plant, for what it is, I think it's a very fast grower. It very quickly filled out the pot. But it also started developing all these little hairs all over the stem. I don't know if they're aerial roots or what they are, but I think they're so weird and so cool. And when they started uh, growing there, my boyfriend's the one that pointed it out. He's like, something's wrong with that plant. <laughs> um, I don't know. I haven't ever seen anyone else own one of these, so I don't really know. But I'm assuming it's just normal stuff that's going on with the plant. But it's so cool i love it so much it sits in the windowsill in my um in my living room it's a south facing window it seems to really love it there but um i love this one i literally check on this every day and i'm like dang how can a plant be so beautiful i think it's so cool but definitely needs water so i'm gonna go put this in the water when we're done here the next one is the one that my boyfriend has lovingly dubbed the big fat cactus this is from Wild Interiors. I did buy this with my own money. I found this at uh, Walmart last year and I was so crazy about finding one of these because I saw it in someone's video as like a preview. They went to the uh, Tropical Expo. They went to like a plant convention and they showed this plant as like coming out as like a preview um, for what was coming out the coming year. And I saw it at Walmart. It was $20 and I thought that was really expensive for a cactus. But I bought it anyway and I've had it since last year. And when I got it, it was only this big. It had these four dots on it and that was it. And the reason they call this a cuddly cactus is because it has no spines. But it has no spines because what I think they did is they cut off the spines. So each of these little dots here, if you touch it enough, you can feel something kind of scratching your finger. Just barely, barely. But you could feel that there was a spine there. But now, so I, it was this big when I got it, so all of this is what has happened since last year that I've had it. This also sits in my south-facing windowsill and it loves it there. But all of the new growth has a spine, so you can even see them just by looking at it to the side. So after those started growing, it kind of dawned on me that I think they did cut off the, um, the old the, uh, spines down here to make it like no spine. But either way, it's beautiful. Just keep that in mind when it is growing it's gonna regrow spines. But so much of it has grown. It also has this really pretty blue color on it that I love. And I am crazy about this plant. I, I see it every single day, I look at it, and it's just like so cool. This one I think also needs water because it's feeling a little bit thin and it should feel like, like the other one a little bit firm, feel like it's really full. But I watered this a few weeks ago so it's definitely due, especially that it's sitting in that really hot window all day. But I love this. I mean, look how beautiful it is. So, so, so beautiful. Oh, love it so much. Okay, this next one is a Cebu, Cebu or Cebu Blue Pothos. And I found this at Walmart last year 
or the year before, I don't remember. But I uh, was, when I saw this, I beelined for it because I'd never seen one in real life before. I never thought I would. And at the time, it was like the plant that was on my radar. And I love this. It didn't really grow a whole lot uh, until this past winter for some reason. I have three of these at this point. I have three of these like this. I have one on the shelf right here that was a bunch of cuttings that I propagated and replanted uh, up uh, about a week or so ago. And then I have another one that's full of cuttings that I'm also propagating to make another plant out of. Anyway, all three of these never grew. They kind of just stayed exactly the same size as they were when I got them. But for some reason this past winter, they just exploded with growth. Like all of this grew this winter. It's the weirdest thing. It filled out all over the top. It's such a beautiful plant. I do still see this every now and then, especially at Lowe's. This is a Costa Farms plant, so um, Lowe's carries Costa Farms, and Home Depot just started carrying Costa Farms, at least the ones I live, where I live, which is kind of cool, because Home Depot usually only sources their plants locally, which is amazing, uh, but they also started carrying Costa Farms now, which is kind of cool, so they have a lot more variety. Anyway, uh, so if you want one of these, check out your Lowe's. You gotta go all the time, though, to get the good stuff and try to get there when they unload their order, but anyway, why was I saying all of that? I love this plant. I'm crazy about it. It sits on the table in my living room again. And what I did last night, I got up from the couch because I was just staring at this plant and I got up and I just went like this to it and I fluffed it. And then I went and sat back down. And my boyfriend was sitting there and he was like, did you get up just to go do that to your plant? And I was like, oh no, no, I was just gonna go let out the dog or something like that. But yeah, I did. I just got up to fluff the plant because this is one of those plants you just wanna like, play with because it's so beautiful. I love this and now that it's like growing a lot, I just can't get enough of it. I look at it all the time, I touch it, I'm like admiring the leaves. They have this really like elongated slender leaf shape with this like blue, it's like a blue green silver kind of color on it. Love this plant, this is such a good one, super easy care as well. I just let it get all the way dry, it gets kind of like limp and then I'd soak it in water and it just loves that kind of care and it exploded with growth this winter. So love this one a lot and I can't, I can't shut up about it and I can't stop touching it either. I'm not sure how I feel about this situation. I feel like I'm constantly out of focus or maybe it just looks like that because of the way the lighting is coming in. Let me know what you think about this. Anyway, let's talk about the next plant I can't shut up about. This is one I pick up almost every single day and look at it and I tell my boyfriend, don't you love this one? And he just goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a begonia, it's a Rex begonia, and Rex begonias are ones I have generally thought were super ugly. I don't get it, I don't get why people like them, but now I'm realizing it's because the way they're sold in the store, they're usually jacked up. The leaves are really ripped, they're really mushy, like they don't ship that well, and not really taken care of at the store too much, but I found this one, I wanna say I got this at Lowe's, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I still have the sticker. Look at that, there's a sticker. It's the Wick and Grow from Costa Farms. It was $7.98. This one stopped me in my tracks, not only because it was in great shape, none of the leaves were all messed up, but look at it. Look at that design on this leaf. And then the texture of these, it has, there's just a lot going on with this plant. The texture is nice and thick, like you could, it feels like it might be holding onto a lot of water. I wanna say like a semi-succulent kind of feeling, they're just really thick leaves. Maybe like a skindapsis a little bit. The coloring, the pattern, I mean look, it is so beautiful. And then the back of the leaf is red veining. This plant is just absolutely gorgeous. The stems do have a lot of like a fuzzy little texture to it. Um, I don't let this one get all the way dry or dusty, I guess. Um, I don't let this one get all the way dry. I actually just watered it this morning. I find that when I do let it get all the way dry, it immediately gets crispy. So keep this one a little on the moist side, a little like a peace lily. So far, that's been working really well for me. Um, and something I really love about this plant and the way the new growth comes in, I actually don't think there's one growing. <gasps> oh my gosh, are those flowers? There's like two little buds right there that look like flowers. Um, there was this little growth here, but I think it died because I, I let it get dry. I'll pick that up. Anyway, the new growth comes in really interesting. So it grows, it looks like, um, 
That succulent that's called ogre ears, that's how this looks when it's growing a new leaf. It's the weirdest, coolest thing. Um, I think this is so pretty. And ever since I got this and how crazy I am about it, I look for good looking Rex begonias all the time now. And um, I haven't found any other ones. They're all messed up and torn and just mushy and yucky. But this one, ugh, look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I just wanna hold it for a minute. I'm not done, I love it. Why am I like this? Okay, last one. I mean, going from this one to the last one, like this one is so showy, the next one's gonna look so boring compared to this, but I still can't shut up about it. Let me go get it. Okay, this is one of the plants I got at the grocery store. Um, I did a huge grocery store plant haul and this was one of the ones I got. It's called a variegated ginger. Uh, I'm sure there's another name for it, but that's kind of what I figured out. And I freaking love this. I mean, look how beautiful it is. It's got these just long, slender green leaves with this nice variegation on it. I don't know if it's an actual ginger plant, like that grows a ginger food, you know what I mean? Or if it's just called that, but this grows so fast. So this whole stem got put out recently with these two leaves. It's also growing another one. This leaf is unfurling and I didn't even notice it was there until the other day and it was already this big. It's just such a cool looking plant. It looks so wild. It looks like a plant that should be growing outside. Like I guess all these plants are probably plants that grow outside, but you know what I mean? Like it looks like a vegetable plant, like a corn or something that should be outside in the ground, not in my house. But I think it's so, so cool. Again, this is another one that I'm always showing my boyfriend going, look at that new leaf. And he's going, oh yeah, yeah, new leaf. Anyway, um, I think this is such a cool looking plant. I did find this, I think it was six bucks, six ninety nine or something like that. And it just grows so much and it's so pretty and it's so cool to look at. I love it. I think it's so cool. Let me know if you have one of these and let me know if it is like a ginger food plant or if it's just called that. I gotta look more into it, I didn't really, but I think it's such an awesome looking, wild, cool plant. I love it. So yeah, that is it. Those are five plants I currently can't shut up about. Let me know some of the plants you cannot shut up about. I would love to know the plants you're constantly bugging your family like, look at this one, isn't this the coolest one? I would love to know. Uh, but that is it. Let me know what you think of this setup. I kind of like trying something different, but I'm not sure about how it's looking on camera. But let me know what you think. I wanna know your thoughts and opinions as, as always. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.